Rival gangs creating anarchy. A major gang bust in Los Angeles today. Epidemic of violence. Gang members roam the streets. These are animals. Animals. Savage, vicious, criminal gangs. Bloodthirsty killers. You never get prepared for, for a future because you, they think you don't have a future. I had no clue as to how to do this stuff, you know, on the, the internet. I don't have no work history really because the reality of it is that I'm gonna keep aging and I don't have nothing to back me up. What have I done with my life? And I got scared. I couldn't go get a job anywhere because they were not going to hire felons. Jack in the Box, Burger King, all these places, they won't hire me. I didn't have no more chances. They call him Pops and Father G. Jeezy. This is a portrait of me from a guy on death row. And this. I'll see you, I promise, I promise. Is his church. I've seen folks who are completely despondent and can't conjure up an image of what tomorrow's going to look like. But I've never met a monster. I've never met an evil person. Never. This Jesuit priest has buried more than 200 people, many of them under 18 years old, all lost to gang violence. When I got to home with the same guy that jumped me into my gang, I seen him with a tight in a suit, sitting in the office, running the office, and I was like, what the hell is going on here? He told me, like, this is a whole different way of life. Are you willing to give it a try? I didn't think Father Greg would help me. Like, how's this man I never knew? How's he gonna help me? And he's just, just come in, we'll figure it out. I fell in love with it. It's just the joy that they get when they come here, when they're being helped, when they're offered a cup of coffee, some, a meal, and somebody's actually trying to help you do something, you know? Homeboys, it just, it's, it feel like home. We're 30 years in existence here at Homeboy Industries. We have the largest uh, concentration of gang activity anywhere in the world. There are 120,000 gang members in LA County, 1,100 gangs. And now we're the largest gang intervention rehab reentry program on the planet. So 15,000 folks a year walk through our doors. We always represented a, an exit ramp off this violent freeway. So it's an illusion that, you know, by locking up more people, that it brings you safety. And whatever benefit there is in that dwarfs in comparison. It has this foreverness about a cycle of damage to kids and to relationships and to marriages and to communities. I've been to every single prison in California. I've been from Pelican Bay State Prison, Corcoran's. I've been to all the higher levels and then I work my way down to the lower levels. And there's nothing there that helps you rehabilitate. What if we were to invest in people rather than just try to futilely, mindlessly incarcerate our way out of this problem? It's an invitation to infuse hope to kids for whom hope is foreign and help heal the damage. More than 30,000 former gang members have come through Homeboy, and for those completing a special 18-month program, Boyle says only 30% return to prison. That's compared to more than 60% across California and close to 70% nationwide, just three years after they're released. Why are your numbers so much better? Well, I think a lot of times, you know, we have a menu and list of services to deliver. And then we become the DMV, you know, it's like uh, now serving number 43. So what do you need? So you need counseling, okay. Parenting, good. Anger management, and we sort of dispatch people, but we don't do that here. What they do at Homeboy is job placement, mental health counseling, legal aid, solar panel installation training, and much more. Then a bond developed that's stronger than even their family and certainly stronger than their gang. I went through all these classes. Substance abuse classes, the anger management, there was a leadership class. Legal services, GD, job resources, pathways to college, domestic violence, NAAA, computer lab. I started taking parenting classes. First I started taking them because they have free food. <laughs> and all those tutors, they don't give up on you. They want to drill you every morning before you had your coffee. It was, it was real hard. 
It's helped me become the father that I always wanted. The secret sauce here is, is the place, is the community, is the environment, is the extravagant tenderness that people encounter. I never thought about a 401k. And he showed me the whole breakdown of a 401k and how you can start saving and everything for the future. But now that you're saying that, yeah, I would like something like that. No wonder this way people keep their shit straight, huh? Because they got a 401k. Now I'm a homeowner. You know, it's three years out after doing 18 years in prison. You could go hiking? I thought that was for white people. What is the most profound thing that has happened to you here? I jumped a guy into a gang when he was nine years old. And when he was 18, he received three life sentences. And all three life sentences were for crimes that he didn't commit. Eventually, through the appeal process, he was released. It took 18 years for that to happen. And last December, he walked through the door of my office and asked me to help him. And I felt that my life had gone complete circle. These are animals. Animals, savage, vicious, criminal gangs, bloodthirsty killers. I've never met a monster. I've never met an evil person. Never.